Welcome to another episode of the Minnesota Meatloaf Podcast. How's it going today, Matt? Good. How are you, Aaron? I'm doing well. That's good. So what's new with you? Playing, watching anything new? Um, I really haven't been playing anything for video games. Um, I watched, I finished uh, The Defenders, and so then I'm watching the official Marvel timeline on Disney+. Plus, and so the next was Black Widow. And I watched okay. that. Um, I heard a lot of bad reviews for it, but I actually really liked it. Wow. And then, yeah. yeah. And then the next one is Black Panther. And I'd seen that one before, but I watched it. Mm-hmm. I think I actually liked it better the second time because I kind of knew what to expect. Was there a couple of those like there's, Black Panther movies? Or there's, a, there... there's two of them. There's the original, okay, and then there's the... Wakanda Forever, which came yeah, out kind of in the middle of COVID, I think. And everyone okay. kind of missed it. Yeah, I have missed that one. <laughs> Black Widow and Black Panther Wakanda Forever were two Marvel movies that kind of came out right in the middle of pandemic. And I think they went straight to Disney Plus and not the theaters. And so they get a little bit overlooked sometimes, I think. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What about you? What cool. have you been up to? I started playing Bloodborne. So oh, I've been right. lugging way through that. And <laughs> oh my God, that is a tough game. That is so hard. You get to see you have died a lot come yep. up on the and, screen. And then in one of the episodes, we were talking about, you know, the Nintendo power and how you'd lay the magazine out and go yes. step by step. <laughs> I found an online guide or, you know, like an on or a, a, a walkthrough on YouTube that I'm following like step by step going, okay, they went here and got this. Okay, I'm going to go there and get that. And still I get <laughs> lost in that game. It's just so many different pathways and secret accesses. And there are. Yeah. And there's things that, like, if you do this here, it opens up something there in, like, a completely different part of the thing. And it's like, if you kill this person, then this thing isn't available, but then this other thing you can do or whatever. Yeah, I know, but it's it's an awesome game. It's so cool. I just love the graphics and the design of the characters and and that, so. I do, too. They're almost comic-like. Yep, exactly. (laughs) Well, Well, what are we talking about today, Aaron? Today we're talking about comic book memories. What's, a, what, what's that? Comic book. Comic book! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's I, still I, one of the best. I couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> that look, no. Creep Show 2 action. Is that Creep Show 1 or Creep Show 2? Um, one. Okay. With Tom always, Savini. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I always get them mixed up for some reason. Matt, sorry to interrupt, but yep. um, a cat's given, taking a bath behind you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's the Nemer cats. That's uh, just to pay no attention to that. Hopefully, we okay. won't keep this uh, appropriate for all audiences. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was crucial one. That was such. That was great. I love that scene. I do too. Uh, My kid loves these. I do too. Yep. <laughs> you can order all this stuff. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're talking about comic book memories, and one yep. of the comic book memories apparently is Creep Show too. When they talk yeah. about comic books, but yep. um, go ahead, shoot. Yeah, my first. I've you know, as some of my like, as far as I can remember, I mean, I've always been around comic books. Like growing up, when I was really little, you know, my dad would read comic books to me, and because he would get them at the drugstore in in town because the comic books that they wouldn't be able to sell, they would Mm -hmm. like rip the covers off of them. And then they would like sell them in bulk for, um, you know, like really cheap. So dad would like buy a ton of them and then he'd read them to me. And, you know, I never knew comics had covers until I was older. (laughs) You're like, wow, look at this. Yeah. (laughs) Look at that. But it was mostly like pink Panther cartoons and, you know, Mickey Mouse and, and those kind of things. It was never really like superheroes or anything like that. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, is yeah. I always I've I've always been around comic books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. I like uh, same kind of thing. Like I'd get sort of like hand me down comics from my yep. cousins, or I'd see them when I was at people's places, and they're usually all beat to hell. And usually things like Casper the Friendly Ghost, or you know Archie's, or something like that. Yep. You know, not very much superheroes. I never really thought of as comic books i thought of more as like cartoons like super friends or yeah. spider-man and uh his amazing friends and there's yep. a hulk cartoon um 
but I remember getting like a Green Lantern comic book and I was way too young for it. And it just was completely over my head. And I, mm-hmm. I was like, this is the guy from Super Friends. But the comic that I first remember actually buying and really liking was Mad Balls of all things. Oh, yeah. There was the toy Mad Balls and their rubber balls that were all crazy and gross and gory and this like every in those days everything had a cartoon there was like a he-man cartoon a transformer cartoon but there really wasn't a mad balls cartoon i think there was but there wasn't by us anyway yeah we didn't see it yeah yeah so i was like wow i can learn the story of the mad balls and they were like it was basically a truck full of balls crashed into a toxic waste thing and they mutated and came alive and were the mad balls and they flew around and went on little goofy adventures yep and then later on um when the Transformers cartoon kind of ended, but they were they were still making Transformers comic books, and then I got really into the Marvel Transformers sure. comic books. Yeah, and then from there I got into Spider Man, and then the rest is history. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I guess yeah. Some more of the early comics that I had was you know like the comics that came in He Man figures because I got He Man you know like for oh, Christmas yeah. when they came out, and they would come out the you know little comics, so I'd read those and thought those those were, were the cool, best. But- those yeah. are like sometimes like that was the most exciting part of getting the new the new figure was reading the little mini comic to learn the story behind where yep. this guy come from. It's yep. like, and I, we found King Hiss. He was in this chamber or some, some yep. stuff. Like <laughs> I still have all those all the nice. comics. I sold the figures years ago on eBay, but kept the comics. So, but <laughs> yeah, and I really the first comic that I remember buying was really when we started hanging out because that's when I kind of discovered the Punisher more and yeah. <laughs> started buying his comics. And yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that's when I started to really yeah, get into them. Was, so. Yeah. I I was getting, I was getting mad balls comics and, and uh, at good old Gruber's market. And then I was oh, yeah. getting at VNS variety store in peers. Uh-huh. I was getting, um, the Transformers comics, and then they did a thing called Acts of Vengeance, which was a big Marvel event. But this is mm-hmm. when Spider Man got the cosmic powers and he could fly okay. and like shoot beams and all this crazy stuff. And I was like, all I ever knew Spider Man from was the um cartoon when I was little, so I was like, what sure. the heck is all this? So then I got all into Spider Man, and then I got kind of obsessed with Spider Man in the black costume, and then with Venom yeah. as seen here. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really got into comics and then basically anyone that would listen i would tell about comics and so when we started hanging mm-hmm. out it was like aaron comics we're gonna talk about comics so what yep. you gotta do is you gotta get comics yeah and, and you discovered the punisher and that was your gateway drug to the comic it was world. it really was <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like all kinds of different you know comics because then we started to go to granite i mean we always went to granite mm-hmm. and i never really bought comics until because my thing was the comics were always like in number like 300 and you know 40 <laughs> and 500 and whatever and yeah. i don't know i'm a i don't know probably ocd or something where it's like i want a completion that you know i'm a completionist and i want to get yep. you know start from one and then get them well they had just started punisher re you know they restarted it with a new story from one so then mm-hmm. i started collecting it again and then after I started collecting, you know, those and I was like, well, I'm going to start getting the other, you know, from the older series It's from the eighties and that. So, mm-hmm. but, um, because yeah, we were in the granite one day and they said, I think it was like, yeah, Punisher number one, I saw the cover and I was like, you know what, I'm going to start getting into comics again. And, nice. and so, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah. I can remember going on, uh, we'd go on big car trips with my family. And then whenever we'd like stop at a hotel or something, or if we were camp, I would find the yellow pages and I'd look up comic book stores. And then I'd yep. look for ones that had ads that were, and then I'd beg and beg. Can we go to this comic book store, please? Come on. I know. My, <laughs> my yeah. parents were most of the time would give in and yep. would, and, and were nice about it. And, go to some real rat holes. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, we'd go to Florida, you know, for a while we were going every summer to Florida and mm-hmm. that was the first thing I'd grab like the minute we got into the hotel was phone book looking for garden <laughs> comic stores and yeah, it was usually my dad wouldn't take me but my mom would be like, okay, I'll take you and yeah, went to some really interesting places and <laughs> like, oh my God. Because <laughs> I say this all the time but we didn't have internet back then so it no. was like, you couldn't just look up like, oh, where's the comic book store so i would actually yeah i would look in the hotel phone book and 
Yeah. Like I would know where we were planning on going and I would try yeah. to like plan ahead. Like, Oh, we're going to be going through this town. There's a comic book store there. Yeah. And then you'd go and it'd be like a, it'd be like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station with like, oh, like, like a rack of like four comic books and, be like, well, come on in, look at my comics. I know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we've been to so many places like that throughout yeah. the <laughs> United States. Yeah, it's like, oh my god. And then, <laughs> uh, and then, you know, there'd be something I, you know, wanted. There's like, be, be something specific. So then we'd call the place too and be like, do you have this or yeah. do you have this? And <laughs> <laughs> tell a story, Matt. Remember, we another thing when we were. We mentioned a few times is the home shopping network. Didn't you buy comics off of there one time? Like zero <laughs> issues. It was it wasn't off of the home shopping network, oh, but okay. it it was um just out of the blue. I have no idea how they got my address or how I got on this mailing list or what. Um, but oh, I guess I did have a subscription to a couple Marvel comics. Yeah, that's probably where it came from. Because okay. I, because I taught back when I was in like fifth grade when I was getting in the comics. I talked my mom into letting me subscribe to a couple, and that mm-hmm. was fun. You'd get them; they'd be like bent all in the folded in the, like a taco in your mailbox. Yeah, you know, party in and yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, <laughs> Um, they'd put like a cardboard in there, but they would just like whoop like a burrito oh. and shove it in the mailbox, and it's like, well, thank yeah. you. Um, but I got a catalog in the mail that was like I don't even remember, like American Entertainment Unlimited mm-hmm. or something, and they had a deal that DC was doing zero issues, and they were oh. like, it was it was an event called Zero Hour, and basically they were sort of rebooting the universe just a little mm-hmm. bit, and so every title was getting a zero issue, which was basically going to tell you the introduction and all that jazz of the character, okay. and so this was. And I had always been way more of a Marvel guy. I had kind of the death of Superman and the return of Superman. Those I got kind of got into, but I was always way more into Marvel. So I was like, well, this mm-hmm. is my big chance to just dive headfirst into DC and learn yeah. everything there is to know. So I, um, my dad has a Christmas tree farm. And so we worked out a deal that if I helped him with pruning, because in the summer we have to prune the trees with these machete looking yep. things and go swing 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 yeah so i i had to do so much pruning of the trees and then he or let me order the the zero hour comic and they were so convinced mm-hmm. it was a scam they thought for sure i was throwing my money away huh. and then a box showed up with like a hundred comic books in it <laughs> <laughs> and it was awesome joke was on them <laughs> yep exactly i think it was actually like 40 40 or 50 comic books Oh wow! In, in one box, and then later on, I convinced I, a different summer. I worked out the same deal. Um, it was when Marvel was doing the Age of Apocalypse. Yeah. When when they kind of revamp, they temporarily made all the X Men comics at like an alternate reality version. Yeah. And um, that was another one where I ordered every single issue, and it was like 40, 50 comics, and I had to prune trees, prune wow. trees for my comics. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's, a, it's a payoff, I think. I think. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Because I'm guessing probably not a lot of people had those issues. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. which made them pretty valuable, I think. But oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but well, t- talk about Punisher kills the Marvel Universe. That's a comic we went to Granite and they had oh, one yeah. copy of it. And since you were the Punisher guy, it made yep. sense that you get it. And I've yeah. never seen. I like I've looked for it, and I, I could probably pay a bundle and buy it on eBay. But yeah, it goes. I for- always kind of. I always like to find things in the wild, if possible. Yeah, you know, but I've never seen another one. Yeah, I haven't either. And yeah, we were at Granite, and it was yeah when we were buying all the Punisher, or when I was buying the Punisher, and they had it. And it is probably one of the coolest comic books I've read. I it was like a, a almost like a what if, you know? It, it was a mm-hmm. kind of a what if comic, but basically the Punisher is hired by a bunch of like um, mafia type guys to kill every superhero because the Punisher kills, um, I think it's like Captain America and I can't remember a couple other superheroes he kills. Mm-hmm. And so he's going to be, um, he's on trial and he's going to be, you know, sentenced to the dust, you know, to the electric chair. And um, he's rescued by these mafia guys and said, okay, being we rescued you, you have to, um, this, you know, kill the rest of the superheroes. And so he basically goes through and kills like Spider-Man and Venom and Hulk and the X-Men. I mean, every Marvel superhero he, awesome. he kills. And it's just awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. And How does he kill the Hulk? Do you remember? 
did he do? Oh, when he switched to Bruce Banner, he killed him. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I think that's something. Something with that. He switched to the when he was switching to Bruce Banner, but then he got like all the X Men up on the moon, and then he blew up the or some kind of planet or something, and her space station, and then oh, blew it up with a missile. Magneto has his little asteroid base, asteroid M. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, or yeah. something. <laughs> but no, it's awesome. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen it either. I've that's seen because awesome. I've got the first printing of it, but I've seen like on eBay, like additional, you know, other covers, you know, like the second printing or whatever, and they changed the cover of it. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. And I remember um, getting wizard magazine. We talked about wizard magazine yeah. before, but that was just like, I almost got more excited for that than I did for the actual comic books. Cause I would just sit yeah. and read that from cover to cover. And then you'd yeah. learn about all these things that you didn't know about and then start getting into like Vertigo comics, like Hellblazer mm -hmm. and Swamp Thing and Animal Man. And then Preacher oh, yeah. came out. And I think that was one that you really liked was Preacher. Yeah, I, I didn't really get into the Preacher, um, uh -huh. but like the the spinoff series, like the oh, Santa Killers sure. and and like whenever they do like, you know, like spinoff series of some of the characters in the comic, then I'd get those. Right. And yeah. I remember Santa Killers. But yeah, yeah. So, that was good that was a good comic and yeah and so. then we discovered in indie comics like uh milk and cheese dairy products yep. gone bad by evan yep. norkin which is was, that, my all -time was that slave labor comics or no it might have been actually it might have been i think it was slave i think it actually has been produced by a few different companies as it's been reprinted throughout the years but yeah slave it might be slave labor graphics the makers and, of fish is that masters. What it was graphics? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we ever get a fish masters comic? You got one. I never did. Did I get one? I swear you had one. One of us had one. Someone had one. I remember seeing it. Maybe we maybe I did get one. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah. one of us had one <laughs> gotten one. So I swear I, I don't think I've ever had one because I'd remember owning it, but I yeah. swear I've held one in my hands and looked at it. Or did John get one? Maybe John got one. That, I'll have to call him later and ask. Did you yeah, I, bet, I think it was comic? John because or I maybe never Gooby got one. did. I think maybe yeah. Gooby did. Because couldn't you order Gooby. it? You could every you single to... episode they'd have that commercial. And they'd be like the Fish Master comic book from Slave Labor Press. I think that's what it is actually. Slave yeah, Labor sla Press. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was that's how the voice sounded. I know. Oh, it was so distinct and weird and. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I tried to get those guys on to do a interview with us, but they wouldn't do it. Ah, I know. I was like, dang it! But but yeah, speak going back to milk and cheese. Okay, <laughs> so there was a store in the mall in Crossroads Mall. What was that called? Collectible. It was, it was SCC, which stood for yeah. Sports Card Collectibles. The sports ball, Card, yeah. I think, and Collectibles. Yeah, but it just was SCC. And we would go in there often because they because we'd buy magic there and mm -hmm. other games, you know, from time to time. And they did have comics, I think, or did, did it, they it was it was a rinky dink little store in the mall. It basically was yeah. like one. Well, obviously, stores are one room, but this was just like a tiny room with like yeah. the counter. And on the one side of the build of the room was the counter with yep. all the cards. And then on the other side of the room was like news racks with comics. Yeah, but and it wasn't like, a lot. It wasn't a lot of comics. It was like some comics. No, and um, yeah. and then uh, the guy and they went through several different employees. Well, it was like right <laughs> around Christmas, and we were in there, and the one guy is like, "So I can order comics for you guys. What what are you guys reading?" And at the time, we were kind of in the the milk and cheese, so I was like, "Well, milk and cheese, if you know, could get those." And he's like, "Yeah, I can order those for you. I can order those for you." And I'm like, "Well, whatever." And yeah. I'd asked for them for Christmas, you know, and mm -hmm. mom had gotten me all of them, you know, like first and second printings of all the issues. And so I had them, and then we went in there one time, and he was like, "Hey." I got those milk and cheese comics for you. And I was like, well, you know, I really don't want them now because I just got them. And he was like, yeah. what? what do you mean? You have to buy them. I ordered them. For you. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy them because I, I, I have them. I don't need them. And then he just kept going on and on. I never did buy them, but he got so <laughs> mad. He got so mad. I think I even bought one or two of them just to try to calm him down. Cause yeah. I was, with, I was with both times and he yeah. was like, 
the first you, at no point did you say yes please order me those no. comics he was like i can order them i can order them i can order them and you were like okay cool or like yeah that's great or you yeah. never said yes please order no. them for me you just you were like i'll keep that in mind or something i don't know what you said but I, and then yeah. like a month later he's like you have to order buy him you ordered him you ordered him yeah. and, you have to buy him and you're and like every time everyone like, is <laughs> Yeah, every time we went in there, he would say that. So it got to the point where I just avoid the store. Yeah, <laughs> I, and I think that's what it was. Is we every time we'd go in there, he'd bring it up. So and I was like, I didn't have them, so I'd be like, Well, shit, I kind of want this. I'll yeah. I'll buy one. Maybe that'll make him shut up. And it didn't though. <laughs> no, and it, and they weren't cheap either. I think they, oh. he was selling them for like what they were worth at the time. You know, like if you looked them up or whatever. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> I think that same guy yelled at me for looking at for trying to see through the magic card pack. Yes, we, I, where, where, I don't remember where we were. Probably at Classic Super Toys. Store, yeah, Classic Store. store. Yeah. And someone was like, "Did you know if you hold down on the on the white plastic, you can see what the rare is?" It's like, "Huh, I'm going to try that." Didn't think nothing of it. Didn't think no. like I didn't think the store would have any issue with it for whatever reason. I just was oh. like, oh. So I was like, can I get a pack? Sure. Put my thumb on there and look at it. He's like, what the hell are you doing? Don't do that. You can't do that. Yeah, and it's like you knew right away what you were doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then it wasn't, yeah. I think it was the very next set they came out, they had like foil instead of the white yeah. rubbery wrappers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or plastic I should say. Yep. Good uh, times. Yep. And then we'd go to the comic book show every year at the thunderbird hotel in minneapolis yeah that was fun how many years did we do that three or four at least i think think so yeah that was fun that's where i got a lot of my punisher comics because you get 10 at a time for a dime and (laughs) 10 at a time for a dime (laughs) you go through the quarter bins and yeah 20 issues for a dollar okay yeah (laughs) and then you could run them up to the room and yeah (laughs) <laughs> it's like, it fun. yep go through and there's like stuff that you would normally never even consider buying it's like eh, quarter sure why not it looks yep. cool there's that cool cover i've yep. heard about this character yep. <laughs> <laughs> and every every night the right before we leave the the, the night before Kurt would always get drunk and be sick for <laughs> I don't know because he doesn't normally drink either. It's no, the funny he thing. But yet, for whatever reason, the night before we go to the comic book convention, you get drunk as shit and be sick as a yeah. dog the next day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun though. <laughs> but then we saw our, our college friend Josh Meister. And he's like, What are you doing in my town? And we couldn't tell if he was joking or serious. Yeah, that was really strange. <laughs> yeah. Like what? We're like, ha, ha, ha. And then he like didn't laugh, and we're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. And then we didn't even see him or talk to him again after that. I think yep. we ran into him that one time, and and honestly, I don't think I ever seen him or talked to him ever again ever after mm. that. <laughs> it's like that, he, he said that, and he disappeared from existence. Yeah, because we used to hang out with because he was part of the BBS, and we'd see him a lot. And yeah, yeah. After pl- that, he just kind of he played Deadlands with us. Yeah. We got fun. mad when his when his character got cursed or whatever the hell got yep. demonized. Yep. <laughs> fun. We played that. Yep. yep. Often, but yeah. So comic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Another another thing that I can I think of is. Remember the big book series that I used to get? Oh, I, I used have to love. Them. I used to love when you'd get those and like yeah. I, like. They're kind of expensive, weren't they? Because they're they, they were, literally they were like, are big books. I mean, like the big book of freaks and the big book of urban yeah. legends, and the big. Yeah. I, I borrowed the big book of urban legends from you and read that whole book. Yeah, there's so many of them. Big book of hoaxes, big book of conspiracies, and and uh, yeah, they were probably like twenty some dollars at the time. And then I'd get them for Christmas. So that's when I, you know, would get them because they'd come out right around Christmas. And then I'd get a couple of them, and and then yeah, it'd be like comic you know, comic style stories of everything, you know, like Grimm's mm-hmm. fairy tales. And yeah, there's, it's pretty cool. And the one that the last one that I was supposed to get um, was the big book of wild women. Mm-hmm. And it never came out. I think it was yeah. printed, but there was something, something with legalities that it, it didn't come out. But 
I remember reading. I actually remember reading about it because I was like curious. Whatever happened to the big book yeah. of wild women? <laughs> yeah, and there was. It was some. It got like that was the end of like the company basically. Yeah, and it was just like well, sorry. <laughs> yeah, because I remember because I my mom had uh, pre-ordered it from Media Play. And I would go in occasionally, just about every every day, going to the big book of wild women. <laughs> I can like, remember nope. you asking about going up to the like, asking about it. Oh, I did that so many times because it was supposed to be coming out, you know. And like, no, <laughs> we don't know when we're getting it. But it's like I've got it pre-ordered, and <laughs> <laughs> embarrass everybody that's involved, but I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. Like comic, please set exactly. <laughs> um, but I remember others? at one of the at, w- at one of the comic cons, I got that big spawn binder. It was like mm-hmm. spawn issues one through fifty, and then like the Violator yeah. miniseries and the Angela miniseries, and they were all in like a big binder. That yeah, was that was fine. Cool. Yeah, yep. that was neat. <laughs> yep. Yep. Other than that, I don't. I think I'm. All out. I think we did. I think we went through the comic memories. We did. <laughs> uh, I saw a handful of comics I saved throughout the years. Otherwise, I sold most of them. And I have I've sold almost all. I have like probably less than thirty left that I've kept. Yeah. Too much. But I yeah. sold most of them, I, and I made some decent money on some of them. Actually, yeah. I <laughs> sold. I sold my Punisher, like all the Punisher, in a bulk one time. That's how I got rid of them. So that was that was kind of a expensive shipping deal, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but oh, really quick, another one of my favorite comics that I do have that I did save was the um, Jason versus Leatherface. Oh, I was almost going to bring that up because you rem- yeah. I remember you brought that back for me from one of your trips to Florida. Yeah, I got you. Well, I got one you of the issue issues. Of the yeah, and then we. Um, because I got it through Kurt. Kurt would come over. He would be working weird hours, and then like he'd have time to kill before work. Because and then he would stop over at one of our houses, and he'd always have like these order, you know, catalogs that you could mm-hmm. order figures and comics from. And then that's where I ordered it out of. Okay. I ordered the yeah the set through there, and I've never seen those either in the mm-hmm. wild. I don't know. I, yeah. It's another kind of strange series, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, now I think that wraps up. Well, <laughs> 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 but yeah, so th- there's also it's... adults only comic books, but we won't we won't even go there. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we are aware of them. Anywho, yeah, so. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, but yeah, just being hang it's... out at the comic book store all the time. That was the place to go. We were the big. Oh, it was fun. Just hang there and talk about Superman. Superheroes yep. and when's this coming out? What's this can do? Why they do this? Yep. Who's this and guy? Grandson Comics always knew, you know what, the, you know what was coming mm-hmm. out in the stories, and yeah, it yep. was, was fun. Yep, going and talking to those guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, being it's almost summer, our schedules are kind of getting going to be probably busy this summer. With that, we'll try to do some you know podcasts this coming summer and it'll be kind of hit and miss but we'll we'll see what we can make happen yeah so (laughs) but But, yeah thanks for listening yeah thanks for listening and be sure to like and subscribe and send us any questions you have exactly and be sure to follow us exactly (laughs) thanks for listening yep thanks